So this is where I ended off with the clay version of the female volleyball player. Um, so I added a little bit of clay back here just so I could get a visual of what it would look like with the, uh, you know, the sand getting kicked up by her foot. And I'll have to duplicate that um, over on her knee uh, when it's in wood. And um, I also cut out a, a generalized visual of what I think the, the sand base will look like. And then underneath that, and obviously the, the, that'll be thicker. But then underneath that, uh, the main base will be out of like a, like a darker wood, like a walnut. Uh, so she measures roughly, I think, 30 inches by uh, 13 inches um, tall and about 7 inches wide. So I think uh, the proportions look pretty good. Um, and I, I propped her up even higher uh, than I thought I was going to in the, in the beginning. Uh, I just wanted to get a good visual, you know, under, of underneath, uh, get her her belly, and then be able to see, uh, be able to see her neck and her face and and her hands, and just kind of see the volleyball player in its entirety. So that's why I propped her up. So I guess it's time to take pictures and, uh, and then go ahead and cut it out in wood. And the main idea for uh, cutting it out, or at least taking photographs is to get a straight on shot because that's how I'll cut it out in wood so a picture like this and then um, if I can rotate this without messing it up get a uh, basically a top-down shot um, and that'll be the other way that I cut it out in the on the bandsaw so let's go ahead and take some pictures and uh, cut it out in wood so these are the two pictures that I took looking from the side and looking straight on the top. So I've laid my template down on the width of the board. The board is 10 and a half inches wide and she's roughly nine and a half inches wide. So I should have extra material on, left on the side when I'm doing my band sawing. Next I laid the other template down on the side of the board and I drew a line along the edge of where the board is and it basically comes to a little bit past her knee. So I drew a line um, on the board basically that'll be my first piece of wood, my first layer. And the second layer will be from the tip of her nose basically to the back foot. So I've drawn a line on the board for that uh, second layer. So there will be a third layer and the third layer will be consist of two parts. One will being the being the head and the ponytail and the second being both feet. So, <clears throat> so I've drawn out my pieces that I'll be cutting. So this will be one for the, the head and the ponytail. And then this, this other piece down here um, will be for her feet. So basically I'll cut these uh, pieces out and I'll plane them and join them and glue them together. And then I can draw my pattern on top of the uh, pieces of wood that are glued together. And then start bandsawing it out.
So I got all my pieces cut out, joined and uh, glued together. Um, over here, this is the uh, the sand. The only band sawing I'm going to do on here is basically I'm going to cut out a, a wavy pattern, uh, just something a little bit more interesting than um, like an oval. And uh, then as far as carving out uh, the splash or the, the sand kick up, um, that's going to have to be done um, by by the Fordham or by um, hand tools or whatever. But I have to wait until the volleyball player is finished before I can really do that. Um, over here, this is the uh, the volleyball simple piece. It's uh, just it's not attached or anything like that. And then over here is the uh, the volleyball player, and I attached um, to the side uh, at the top and the and the front face um, the side view of the volleyball player. And uh, so when I do my bandsaw, I'm gonna leave a couple of areas still attached. I'm not gonna bandsaw all the way around. So right here, I'm gonna leave a little piece of material. Uh, I'll leave a little piece of material probably here and a little piece of material here. And the reason for that is um, after I'm done, ba done bandsawing out the side, then what I can do is I can lay this flat on the bandsaw and cut out the top view. So I discovered an issue um, after laying the top piece on. Um, the, the front of the hands line up and the tip of the toe lines up. Um, but unfortunately you can see here that the uh, the bill of the hat does not line up so that means the head will be off and the shoulders will probably be off a little bit um, <clears throat> as well as uh, as well as, as the butt is not uh, going to be lined up as well um, shouldn't be a big issue so I think what happened was you know when I was taking that top view on image from the um, from the clay I must have had my camera tipped slightly like that and um, instead of instead of straight up and down shouldn't be a big issue um, what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll basically uh, kind of separate the legs out um, from the butt uh, probably split the body into two and then I'll separate the arms right at the bill um, and uh, then I'll kind of lay that down on the wood and you know, kind of fake in, draw in some imaginary lines of where I think everything should be. Um, and we'll continue forward. So after gluing the head on and then cutting out the uh, the body and putting it on the the next layer, and then um, cutting off the arms and then putting the arms um, or the hands where they're supposed to be, you can see basically um, where I'm off uh, visually. So uh, now what I'll do is I'll just uh, probably create a line uh, going like this and just kind of take maybe halfway um, on both sides. And, uh, and that's the correction I'll make. <laughs> 